wants the patriarchal society to say, oh, you look like the perfect subservient mm. woman to own. Yeah. Shit, yeah. that's crazy. So you're learning on the go. I'm learning on the go. I'm learning on the go. My first relationship, I was 15, 16. Mm. Um, and I've had to learn on the fly. Every you broke your virginity time. when you were young. Ooh. I d- I didn't. Shame. Woo! Wouldn't you love to know? <laughs> eh, eh, la, la. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, so I guess it was my first, my first puppy kind of mm, life. Mm, mm. Um, mix it days. Mix it days. Mm. To BBM days. Mm, mm, mm. BIS, I miss you. <laughs> mm. yeah. But yeah, uh, and I've had to learn on the fly all the time yeah. of what 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 the give and take of love looks like. Do guys get intimidated by you because you look like you know yourself and you know what mm. what you want? Apparently. Mm. Apparently. No, there was, a, there was a, a, a colleague, an industry colleague of mine, actually a friend of mine, let me call him an industry colleague, a friend of mine that I was on screen with and he actually played my, my, my love interest Okay. Uh, on Generations. Hi, Bill. Did you kiss him? Yes. He's still a good kisser. <laughs> They just use the word still. <laughs> wow. We're going to move right past that, but also thank you. Also thank you, man. Oh my um, but yeah, he played my love interest and he was like, man, I don't know what guy can come into your life and feel like they're worthy of your time. Yeah. Because you, in workspaces, you know what's up. In relationships, you know what you're not willing to compromise. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, you're, you know what time it is. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. You've ever been heartbroken? Obviously, I'm human. Meh. I've been heartbroken. Have you been heartbroken? Wow, oh, dude. Did I break your heart? <laughs> <laughs> I broke your heart, ne? That's called love. Ah, oh, <laughs> no, shame. Eh, oh. Eh, 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 who was it? What had happened? Mm, Did he cheat on you, this fucking nigga? Who didn't? Oh, hey. Niggas is gone, nigga. Have, have you ever cheated on someone? I've never cheated. You kidding, kid? Never. I'm not even kidding. Mm-hmm. I'm not even kidding. I've never. I'd rather leave a relationship nah. than cheat. Mm. Um, so even if it's rocky, even if it's rocky, I'll be like, yo, as keepy brother. Mm. But I'm still not. Oh, and and this is a conversation I had with uh, with a friend of mine as well, because he was like, Candice, we had lunch and he, he sat across from me and he's like, when last did you look at a gent? Because I mean, we, we live in a time where women have earned and. Uh, taking ownership of their own voices, where they can come to you, they can say to you on Twitter, "Give me a baby." Mm, mm. They can come to you face to face. Like that white like, lady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want you to think. <laughs> I want you to think. <laughs> I want you to think. Come quick, come quick. Come quick. Hey, can you do that? <laughs> she goes, "Can you do that?" <laughs> come back <park> here. <laughs> so, the, so we, so we live in time where women can do that. And I think it's 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 dope. Yeah. Um, and he was like, "Yeah." Firstly, do you think you got bones? Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I got bones. Mm. It, it, they, they, they're rare. Yeah. They're rare. Do I sometimes have a bone deficiency? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> um, but uh, he's like, when, when last mm. did you look at a guy and be like, yo, I want to pursue that man? Mm. I'm like, yo, it's been a very long time. Yeah. I, maybe because I'm so accustomed to being pursued yeah. that I don't, the chase for me is something that's not enticing. Um, I want to be chased, yeah, yeah. and maybe it's still this thought of roles that one needs to play as mm. a man and a woman, and it's it's, it's indoctrination, and I kind of need to wash that off. So your uh, DMs aren't crazy right now? They are. Nah. Oh gosh, they are. Yeah. DMs, the WhatsApps. I know you're going to text me after this, so you're going <laughs> to fall into Hey, the I'm taking now. I'm off the market. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> DJs are taken. <laughs> this DJ is that's crazy, man. No, but it's 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 uh, it's the same old, same old. Hey. Yeah. Are you? Do you ever look in the mirror and feel insecure? Yes, I do. No way, I had my teeth straightened. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I had my teeth straightened because I was so insecure about my smile, mm. and I had one crooked tooth, mm. one. But I still went and. Jeez, have you seen mine? But I can't get them straight. But this is from like my grandmother. Yeah. So all the mukwebos we have like they're, this. They're, yeah. But you can. Yeah, but I don't. I can't. You but also you don't want to. Yeah. And it's, it's it's character building. It's 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 created texture to who you are. <laughs> That's what they tell you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. But I definitely feel insecure. I've had weight issues where people would be like, "Oh my gosh, this what waist? Oh my gosh, 
your body goals. And I look in the mirror and I'm just like, oh, I'm so fat. Yeah. We didn't to ever bathe you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got you really fucked. Have you met my mom? No, my mom's I got three daughters. Mm, mm. Tiny waist. She's got an amazing body. So I'd like to believe genetically. Yeah. I, I won't have an issue. Yeah. So, you, you know, we're all not perfect. But to me, mm. it seems like you, you're perfect. Like, you got skeletons. We all do. You're kidding. Yeah. Like what? Yo, I can be an insecure partner. I'm an insecure partner. Mm. Um... I lack accountability sometimes as a partner oh. as well because I'm so busy projecting what I feel at the moment that I'm stripping away my agency in that time. Mm. Um, yeah, so is that that's, that's that's nothing. That's nothing yeah. crazy, man. I have bad spending patterns sometimes, oh, but yeah. we all do. Yeah, yeah. Um, What's the last thing you bought? Like you splurged on? No, I don't even splurge. You see, so when I say bad spending patterns, I don't think I splurge either. What do you spend your money on? Because you don't drink. Oh, you still drink, man. I don't. You don't drink anymore. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you mean anymore? <laughs> yeah? Like you have to pick me up from the floor. <laughs> Ooh, Mac. Please act like you know the real me. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, mm, yo, actually, I, it would be a lie for me to say I know what I spend my money on I spend my money on medical aid mm. <laughs> and paying my team yeah mostly you got a team now I do wow I have a team who's in your team who you got there I have a publicist publicist and of the agency that I'm in there's different people that serve different roles oh yeah Shit, I need to get me one of those eh but you gotta be employed for you to do that <laughs> shade <Don't you>? shade <laughs> All love this side of town. Hey, get this. All love, all yeah, yeah. All, love. all right, cool. So, in a nutshell, um, you know, you're doing great things. How did uh, getting honors change your life? Like, was that like something that you just wanted to do? Oh wow. Um, for me, it was a no-brainer. Mm. So, ironically, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm a boring person, guys, because um, when I initially applied to be at Bits, I applied for a B. Ed. So, I wanted to teach English. I wanted to be an English teacher, wow. but I knew that the, the, the passion, the itch had to be scratched. And yeah. that, that, that itch was drama yeah. and acting and my love for stage. So uh, while many people had a lot of things to say, oh, you should go into politics, blah, 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 blah. So many distinctions and you want to act. Ah, why would you do that? Um, in order for you to respect the craft, you need to know it. Do you think and you it, get bored quickly? Do I get bored quickly? Yeah. Yeah. You, you'd need to, to talk about context. Like your TV, how long did you last there? I was there for two and a half years. Uh, generations, three years. Three years. You see what I'm saying? That's not boredom. What is that? That's age knocking on my door. I was not going to be on your TV until I was 26. Had I stayed a year longer, I would have turned 26 on the show. Shit, were you that old? I joined your TV when I was 21, going on 22. Wow. Yes, you look like a baby, though. I know. I know. Okay, cool. So that's, that's also, again, with, the, with me leaving generations was. Three years of being on that show is amazing. Those Initially, people have been there tw for 20 years. Yeah. I was contracted to being there for three months. Initially. Mm. And you know. Killed it. <laughs> I showed it. <laughs> yeah. um, so, three years seemed like more than enough time to be there. Oh, cool. We're going to play a game now. Got some quick fire questions oh, for I you. I hate next. this game already. Uh, Twitter or Instagram? You're not going to touch my phone. No, no, no. What do you prefer? Twitter, Instagram? Oh, gosh. I thought you were going to go through my DMs. No, like, no, no, no. Fine, fine. Do I prefer... Oh, so oh, that's a question you're yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah, Do I prefer Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram, no? Yes. How many followers you got? Uh, A little over 400,000. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a fair amount. Shit. Yeah. And uh, the pictures that you have? The day I dropped my butt, though. Yeah, yeah. It's when lit. you see, I still keep... It's really cool to have that many followers and I'm still PG. Mm. I'm very PG. Mm. You could put that picture, any picture that I've posted on a billboard and I'd confidently show my mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? And then on Twitter, how many you got? Uh, I think a hundred and something. What I don't did know. you like Twitter? Oh, gosh. Oh, people are mean. Nah. Unnecessarily. Yeah. There's too much clout chasing and clownery. Yeah. And I don't think people are deriving their interactions from a very honest and an authentic place. It's all for pe it's, it's, it's peanut gallery performance. You get trolls? No. Oh, you don't get trolls, man. Ironically,
Absolutely not. Yeah. And please don't start today. You actually have no scandals. Eh? I've never seen anything about you, like no. who you're dating. You know, how do you do that? You're so clean. Look, you you give people the access to the world gotcha. that you 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 feel is necessary. Yeah. And like I said, I want everything I do to derive from my work. If it's not work based. Fuck I don't it. really share it. Mm. Sometimes on Twitter, I will share that, oh my gosh, it would be nice to, to have cuddles or, mm. or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah Twitter, Twitter isn't what it used to be, mm. it, unfortunately. Uh, Aries, Nasty C. Nasty C, simply because he um, shows more respect to people than Aries does. Mm, have you had an altercation with Aries? Not an altercation, I just um, think his engagement with people. Okay. And also from my personal experiences. Like what? Was a bit unpleasant, um, and it, it's it's no shade to his craft. I yeah, think yeah, he's massively talented, but I think you need to be an all rounder. Yeah, that's what staying power is about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can you respect people that you get? And maybe Nasty C may have people he's uh, side. I've interviewed him once. He's a chilled guy, but it was chilled before he, before he blew up. Yeah, but and I've interviewed him. Post blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post blow up. Still the same. Still the same. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, was Aries the one who cheated on you? I did not date Aries. No. Okay. No, 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 no. And I do not want any rumors to perpetuate that either. <laughs> um, yeah. It was just an off. I'm, and I'm an energy person. Yeah. It was just an off yeah, yeah, energy yeah, that yeah, I didn't yeah. appreciate, especially because I'd spoken to him so many times prior to that, mm. and it's been all love. And then I saw him at Back to the City and it was just... Weird. It was new energy and I didn't appreciate it. Maybe it was high or something. That's also possible, but I but I remember it's when I was still working for Singing My Tunzi and I was doing an interview and um, I was just interviewing a couple of people behind this, uh, backstage for yeah. Back to the City and him and his, his little crew, yeah. they were just like, nah, no interviews. And, it was, and that's cool, like that's fine. I don't mind not interviewing you, mm. but there's just always an approach to everything. Yeah. So you can't just kind of shove me out the way and be mm. like, ah, no interviews. Mm, mm. I'm like, you're not Kanye West, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> but again, like I said, it's all love. It's all, it's love, all love, man. I can, I can, so what I can say in this interview, I can say to him. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I can say to him over the phone. Yeah. So, and that's the kind of person that I am. I don't think I'm the type to have a conversation on a public platform that I can't have with the person face to face. Who did you vibe with at Cinema Tunes in terms of interviews wise, which you really liked? A great interview. Oh my, I don't think there was a time that I had a horrible interview. Mm, mm. Oh my gosh. Everyone's, maybe the energy that you give is the energy that you're likely to receive. Got you. Um, I've had really awesome interviews. Oh, wow. I can't give you one. Mm. Oh, I interviewed all of South Africa. Meh. I really did interview everyone. I yeah. mean, except you. Yeah, I don't, I don't count. I get I told you. Well, unemployed. <laughs> I know. Uh, and then like, what did you like, um, I don't know, like from all those interviews, what did you realize about like the industry and people in I've re general? I've realized my comfort as a host. Okay. Um, that, and I have to, I, I, I mean, I have to keep it real. Yeah. I'm a, a Dwana speaking woman, yes, mm -hmm. but it's not my strong, it's not my strength. Yeah, yeah. So I think, and I've realized that my strength and my preference is to host in English mm -hmm. and to do interviews in English. So having to do a full red carpet in Sidwan is like, whoa! <laughs> Wow! Yeah. I'm, I'm new to it. I mean, you guys can hear mm. that I grew up speaking English. You can hear it. Mm. Um, so that may have not been my, my strength. And that's something I was okay with. And yeah. I can openly admit that. Uh, it's nice to be out of your comfort zone. You it know. is. It is. So I could do it. Mm. Without a shadow of a doubt, I would show up. I'd do my job. I'd be great at it. And I'd, I'd dip. Mm. But I know where my comfort lies. And I know where my strength lies. Yeah, and true. that's cool. Um, also, wait, what else? What else? A, oh my gosh, there's so many things that I've learned. Wow. Approach, approach is a very important thing. So ambush, the ambush, the ambush approach is not something people like. I, I like welcoming people into the interview before I interview them. Gotcha. And that may have not been um, the best thing as far as time is concerned. Yeah. Because sometimes you literally just got, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, a minute. it's a bum rush of, yeah. of red carpets and... Man, I love South African events, but our red carpets are still very messy. Mm. It's very heartbreaking because when you know the potential, you, you, you also know that some people are, um, some publications, some presenters are really on the, the, the unfortunate end of the stick because yeah. they have to kind of 
fight for interviews and try and get someone's attention and they don't have that and then they leave the red carpet with three interviews and half of them are people walking past yeah. and mics being passed around and the sound is inadequate. So have you done work uh, overseas? Not yet. Oh, okay. But that's in the pipeline, ne? It is. Yeah. It has to be. It has yeah. to be. From my mouth to God's ears, it is in the pipeline. Mm, yes. Like E-red carpet. Yes. I think you'd kill it. I think I would too. You know? I think I would too. Yeah. But again, from our mouths to God's ears. Cool. Um, why from Metro FM? Why from Metro FM? Oh, what are you doing? A massive Metro. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Don't be gross. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's what Im- unemployed people that aren't in radio <laughs> anymore do. You know, Faith called me and she wanted us to do a show together on, on, on Massive Metro. And then what happened? She called me last year sometimes. She never called me back. I was like, yeah, I'd be keen. When last were we on radio? 947. I'm saying, when last was that? Jeez, I don't even know, eh? Have you been unemployed for that long, friend? Ah, Chief. Ah, uh, Keep buddy. it moving. Ah, <laughs> uh, keep it going. <laughs> you keep it going. If all fails, start a podcast. <laughs> I feel like podcast for you is OnlyFans account for me. <laughs> My rock bottom is an OnlyFans account. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> no, but you're amazing at what you do. Thanks. You're amazing at what you do. He I'm never answered. this interview. You never answered. Why I said Massive Metro. Metro. I said Massive Metro. I said what I said. I see you at YFM, bro. You see me at Y? Yeah. It's a great place to start. My sister's at Y. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, with she's Scoop. at yes, with Scoop. Yeah, the rodeo. Mm. It would seem a little bit nepotism y yeah. if I joined. What show do you do on Massive? I do morning breakfast on Saturdays. Saturdays, oh, yes, okay. Yes, weekend morning breakfast. You anchor the whole show by yourself? No, I have a co host. Oh. Yes. Okay. But I can. Anchor I heard by you guys weren't getting I run paid, though. No, we're getting paid. You're getting paid, no? Yes, I am. Oh. I wonder who's told me that. And then, so what are your dreams in terms of radio? Like, do you. Do you so, uh, so initially, I, I, I don't want to say I stumbled upon radio because okay. it kind of. Then says that I had the numbers, yeah, and I yeah, just, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. bummed around. Um, I've been wanting to get into radio for a long time. I remember wanting to start at Val, but I was never in the financial position to travel every single night. Okay. Via, because I mean, if I'm traveling every single night and I didn't have a car, mm. I'd have to Uber or maxi taxi. Yeah. So I just kind of let the dream die. Yeah. And I didn't want to kind of bother my family and be like, oh, guys, can you? Maxi tax, and mm. we weren't in the financial position either for me to be paying two hundred rand because mm. uh, Uber wasn't wasn't buzzing back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah back then, it makes me sound so bad. <laughs> Yo, but Uber wasn't what Uber is now. Hundred percent. So to ask for two hundred rand every single day for five days a week would be two hundred times five. Days. Who did you grow up listening to on, on radio? Who did I grow up? Ah, I remember listening to Season School. Oh, they were dope. Yeah, 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 definitely. Season Scoop. Your Wilson Binkosis, your Eddie Zondis. You got an old soul, ne? I do, I do. I, but the thing is, I it's, I have two older sisters. Ah, So I kind of caught the residual vibes from them. Yeah, um, yeah. So, You never so, listened so, to so, Tato and Tato? Tato and Tato, oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah. Woo, uh, probably Cabzela. You heard Cabzela? Yeah. Wow. I am old. Yeah. Mac, I'm old. <laughs> I'm not old, old, but I'm old enough. Yeah. And I was probably too young to be listening to and watching half of the things I did, but I was just piggybacking my sister's vibes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how did the Massive Metro gig, they called you up? So um, a friend of mine, he was doing a show. Um, it was weekdays. Okay. It was called The Domino Effect. Gotcha. From, from 1 to 12. It was just an hour slot. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And his hosts were unavailable. At mm. some point, they just... People's schedules got a little bit hectic around the festive season. And he's like, I need a co-host. Mm. So are you willing to come on board? And I was like, okay, sure. Yeah. And I'd been a guest before. So also life is kind of funny. Yeah. So I always start off as a guest and months later I get the job. So what you saying? You're going to be so a ghost Selima, lady on this show? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in my tunes, I was a guest. Yeah. Months later I got called to be a host. Wow. Uh, That's also a big show, eh? Yo TV was a guest. Months later was a host. Wow. wow. And it's all, it's literally months later. But like you said, you're all about energies. Yeah. You know? And relationship maintaining. Yeah. And like I said, if, if, you, if your work speaks for you, ah. Mm. So Metro calls now, would you go? If Metro calls now, mm. yo, man, I'd say yes. Mm. Like right now I'd say it's, but, oh, ish. I, you know what? 
because I'm also a purist mm. at heart, um, I don't want to lose my voice. Mm. So if it means I have to compromise my voice, I'd have to to, to check mm. you know, what the contract says. Mm. Um, but I would. Oh my gosh, it's a massive, massive platform. It's huge. It's massive, mid-driven. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> I, 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 I set us up. I really did. I set that up. I set that up. But, but the thing is, also, I love being at Massive Metro as well. But conversations would have to be had. I again, contracts would have to be right. Conversations would have to be transparent. Yeah. Um, the check would have to yeah. say what's good. Yeah. Uh, but I also don't do things for checks as well. Yeah. Uh, nine four seven. Would you go there? I would. Mm. I would definitely go to nine four seven. No. Nah. Easily. In mm. fact, um, if Five were to call me, yeah, if any commercial radio station, because I, I, being at Massive Metro, do you still listen to radio though? I do. You kidding? Yes. Who do you listen to right now? What, uh, what to in the, in terms of like radio platforms? Yeah. Um, Who are you vibing I under, with? I, under, I think I under MVP is Vibes. Mm-hmm. I think she's Vibes. Um, I listen to Anati. Anati. Anati who's Anati? Anati's nice. Why? Why? I listen to the radio. Rodeo is brilliant, guys. Oh, Rodeo I love Scoop. Eh? How, how awesome is Scoop? I think Scoop and my sister. Nah, like but your sister sounds like a groupie on that show. What? She sounds like she never tells him shit. Because it's not who she is. <sighs> and that's the thing about balance. That's, that, that's what the... Ra- now imagine both hosts were telling people nonsense. No. And telling each other nonsense. No, but let's be... I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't hear her voice. Let me say that. Okay. Okay, I hear you. Like, I feel like if Scoop did it by himself, it'd still be the same. Okay, okay. So th- there isn't enough banter. But I mean, I think... Banter, banter perhaps. Banter. But you can't have banter for the sake of banter. No, you need to have banter for, for banter. You need to have banter because it just l- leads to that. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, every show has its, it has its texture. Every show has its vibe. Um, and every, view, every listener has their opinion. What I'm trying to say is that having seen her on TV... Yeah. Having seen some of her interviews and the stuff mm. that she does, it doesn't come out when I listen to that show. Okay. All right. You know? But Scoop yeah. is like... Scoop is Scoop. Is scoop is Scoop. Scoop has always been Scoop. <laughs> it's always been scoop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Hey, where, where, the last one. What was the last one? Let me check. Durban or Cape Town? The one that's less racist. <laughs> <laughs> Durban it is. <laughs> Shame, and my experience of both have been limited. Mm. So, but yeah, that I was just throwing in a, a Twitter opinion. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, yeah. That, I was just throwing the Twitter opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have you faced racism, though? I'm a black woman living in South Africa. Mm. It's like asking have I faced any form of harassment. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's inevitable. Yeah. Um, Not in the workspace, though, no? It wasn't loud. Okay. It wasn't loud. And sometimes racism... Those are the most dangerous Racism ones. and harassment aren't always loud. And that's the misconception that we have. Mm. That it needs to be, oh, UK word. Mm. And that's be that. No. Sometimes it's just a... I don't think you work... I don't, I don't know, hey? I don't know. And I thought, hey? Huh? Uh, maybe not for the show. And sometimes it's the opposite. Like, oh, my word, you sound so... <laughs> and then you get the smile. Yeah, yeah, the smile. You sound... Hi. <laughs> Like, I really thought, when I was speaking over the phone, I thought Candace would be... Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit different that you don't sound like the other blacks. Mm, mm. It's crazy. It's something with subtle. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta, you gotta see it as for what it is as well, yeah. It's crazy. I never knew racism existed until I started getting into the corporate world. Yes. Because in high school... <laughs> Which high school did you go to? I had Park High. Yeah, it and was I'm, non-existent, man. It was, and everyone is, is like an equilibrium. It's mad chilled. I went to Macaulay House, predominantly black women, young black women, so it wasn't as obvious as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, my best friend was Jewish. I went to his bar for. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of my life sounding like this. <laughs> So I had to go to the red carpet. Yeah, I sell my dudes. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, until I got to Macaulay House. Until I got to my high school. Yeah. And then it was, why do you sound like that? Mm. And then I had to question my blackness. Mm, that's crazy. And I didn't realize that I'd lived in a li- this little bubble of Linksfield Primary where, you know. Yeah. Like you listen to Britney, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, like, in sync. In sync. Yeah. And like your friends are clean, you know. <laughs> Daniela. <laughs> 
Can I tell you about a moment? <laughs> tell me. Ooh. So I went to Macaulay House. So I finally established that this is what Candace sounds like. This is what Candace is. Candace was one of West Soto. She's comfortable in these spaces, you know. Ebe. Mm. We had this um, like this career day, mm. and I bumped into a group of my primary school friends. Okay. So I'm with my high school friends, yeah. and they are my primary school friends. Yeah. And I was faced with the ultimate dilemma of who am I in the face of the people? <laughs> you gotta decide. I, I had to my money. Ends. One must die. <laughs> Which one am I gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Am I speaking? And then that's when I realized that I probably did have a bit of an identity crisis. That wow. When I'm with my my black friends, mm. this is who Candace is. Mm. When I'm with my white friends, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in, in years. <laughs> what? Oh my word. I didn't realize that that was a problem. Mm. I didn't mm. realize that. Yeah. And then when I was, what, 14, 15, in hindsight, I can say that, yo, I was idling on the. But I now know. we know who we are. Now, now we no, now we definitely know who we are. Yeah. Whether I, and maybe we and we all have it. That minor slippage where yeah. you you now in a group of Abelungu, <laughs> and now there's a bit of. <laughs> now you're not necessarily saying like. It's, there's a bit of a laugh. <laughs> I've caught myself like. Yeah, 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 and that's what I really love about Bonang when she went to. Um, Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. I love that too. She was literally yeah, like, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. too. but she was a bit nervous. Really? She seemed nervous. And you're allowed to be. It's a massive platform. And yeah. when, when there's something that you're that you respect. Yeah. And uh, you But I do agree with what you said. I did like that. Like, yo, Batum, Shalamin. Oh, Mamudimu. Which one? Ooh, when, uh, <laughs> just stop nonsense. Just stop nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't yeah. say it's a stop nonsense. No, just stop nonsense. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. maybe that's and that's why we love her. That's because she's actually real now. Yeah. She's attainable. She's real. She's relatable. Yeah. That's all it boils down to, man. That's exactly. If she was still exclusive, can't touch her. Yeah. Very far and a, a fantasy, yeah. an enigma. So who else do you look up to in SA? Bonang, obviously. Why does every girl look up to Bonang, bro? Is she no, that amazing? I respect her hustle. I respect mm. her hustle. And the thing is, you, you can't kick a dog when it's down. For her, she had a down moment. When? Bonang? Your girl B? Never. She took a little bit of flag. When? With the book? Like, there, there was a year where <laughs> there was some publicity that may have not necessarily been in her favor. Ah... Uh. But that always happens, but now she just keeps it moving. That's the thing. Then that's what I'm saying. I respect her hustle because it's very easy when you operate from a place of ego that when that publicity knocks on your door, yeah. that you see it as the ultimate demise of my brand. Got you. And then you go into a hiatus and then you rebrand. You come back as a brand new you. Some people do that. And if it works for them, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but for people that I respect in the industry, I respect Nomza Mumbata. Which um, one's that? Nomza What does she do? An actress. She's a host. She's currently on the cost of coming to America. Oh, oh okay, yes. Nomzamo, yes. I mean, if you're part she of the She the summers, ne? With, two, with uh, Did you say she works at the summers? No, she hosted. She hosted, yes. With Mpo Pops. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, she hosted Mpo Pops. Yeah, I remember yes. her now. Okay, yes. 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 So, Nomzamo Mbata is flames. Tusombedu. I, maybe I, it, it's people, the people that I show a lot of love and respect for are the ones that are crossing international barriers oh. and they like they, they, they act crossing boundaries mm. oh my gosh but there's so many people that think I mean, my, my sisters I think are amazing but I see you doing that as well I see that too yeah I mean it's just a matter of when yes thank you you know I see that happening as well there's so many people oh my word oh like I could and I, I'm the kind of person that also shows love publicly yeah. like I'm not going to be like hey babe how are you I'm yeah. not, I, I don't believe in the pretentious stuff I've left events because I felt like I was getting too much pretentious energy. Shit. That's I've crazy. left. Yeah, which event was this? Selma Tunzi what? No, 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 no. Dugu Dugu. No, it was a it was a fashion ish event. Okay. Um Fashion Week. No, no, no. I'm not gonna say what it was, <laughs> but it wasn't Fashion Week either. But it was all of that. Hey babe, how are you? I hate that shit. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my god, I saw it uh, it Felt ooh, like you're in primary me. school again. <laughs> and I was like I was like, nope, 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 nope. I literally texted a friend and I was like Wow, I can't do this. I'm yeah. going home. Shit. It's an hour. Shit, we got to wrap this up, man. It's been an hour. It has. Recording, yes. Yes, I need to leave. All right, cool, man. Candace, 
Love you long time. Thanks for coming. Thank you. We are doing. Uh, what are we doing, Vela? We're doing the business thing. We're doing the business. We're doing. The, we're doing. We're leaving no stone unturned. Mm-hmm. We've left. We're getting back on TV soon. We're getting back on TV very, very soon. So mm-hmm. I, I'm, uh, it's a great show. January 2020. Yeah. It's a show that I'm hosting. It's yeah. Beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely show. It's very me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and when you think of very me, very young, yeah. young people, yeah. it's definitely on that. Yeah. Um, I think people will enjoy it. Yeah. Um, yeah, radio is still very much in order. Mm. Uh, yeah, so business, radio, television, big screen soon. Nice, also. nice. Um, Netflix soon. Whoa. From my mouth to God's ear. Damn, oh, okay. Got you. Um, hmm. Baby. Like your sister? Not anytime soon. All right. Not anytime soon. Yeah, you need a man first. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and I need a man. <laughs> like, I don't need a man. I need a man. I need a, no, I need a husband first. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I need a husband first. Yeah. And then, like I say, first comes love. Mm-hmm. Then comes marriage. Then comes a baby in a baby carriage. Man, I could have been sleeping with me. You could have been a power couple. Ah, yes, in. <laughs> but we got to be employed first to do that. <laughs> No, but uh, say I'm fine now because technically I'm freelancing. Yeah. So when you you know when the artist says, you know, I'm just freelancing. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you that's what I'm doing, guys. right? I'm freelancing, man. Yeah. 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 But you got a podcast in your name. You're you're creating content. You the thing is, it's one thing to be uh, fun employed mm. and not do anything. You're mm. doing you're you're playing in your craft. Mm. You're in your field. Mm. You're making boss moves, mm. and I'm excited for you. Thank you, man. Because you finally have one thing that a lot of young black creators don't have. Mm. Ownership. Yeah, true. You're owning your stuff. Yeah. And that's fire. Anyway, Candice, this is the last uh, interview for the year, by the way. <laughs> are you, are you loving the, 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 the pianos? The pianos? Uh, please. They're I, going in. Eh? And I'm, I can't do the whole drug move, guys. It's not cool. <laughs> If, if the kids see me doing that, they're going to be like, ha! Yeah. I can't do it. There's still, people still remember you from your TV. Real TV still plays. Yeah. It's on repeat. Oh, is it? Yeah. So you're still on hard. Wow. There's things playing from 2016. <laughs> Why don't they have new episodes? Hey. Crickets. Hey, hey Crickets. Louis. That's our <laughs> cue. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a, a podcast shirt just for you. Hopefully, you'll wear this in your next movie. I'll or wear whenever. it to sleep. <laughs> you know where you wear the, the campaign, the political campaign t shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm adding this to my collection. Yeah, so this I is a small, it. yeah, yeah. Thank you. I thought small. you might like that, yeah. I do, thank All you. Right, cool. Already giving me gifts and that's jolly, wow. Ah, no, anyway. Uh, this has been Podcast and Chill. We out of here, boom. Podcast and Chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.